Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I am one of the UiPath community MVP for this year 2022. And I bring you one of the interesting program for the students known as UiPath Student Developer Champions. I am going to share the link of this particular page where you can get details of what is this program, what are the benefits of the program, what would be your responsibility as a champion, right? Once you become a student champion, what would be your responsible because the title of the program is all about student developer champion so once you get nominated and getting selected once you become a student champion for your institute there are a couple of responsibilities and there are a couple of great benefits as a student developer champion you will have one of the great benefit i would like to highlight is the internship opportunity that you would have Right, that is one of one of you know every, every student would look for a great internship opportunity, and here you have you know you will have that opportunity once you become a student developer champion. So go through this entire page, you know, read through the eligibility criteria, read through the entire page, you will get details. Now, the next question that might be coming to your mind: how do I nominate myself? So there are two different ways. One is your faculty nominating around three to five students or else there is another link. If you are a student, you can use this particular link. So when you open the first link, the first link, you can share it to your faculty and ask to nominate three to five students from the institution. So this is the entire form where you have to provide the students names, details and you know, details around the students has to be filled and finally submitted by the faculty of your institute so at the moment it has been submitted it will be received by uipath uh, you know the, you know, uh, the the responsible person will collect this details and would connect with the faculty and the students later on okay you, you know that will happen automatically once the form is submitted the program will be initiated otherwise if you are a student there is another different form it's a pdf form which need to be filled out and has to be shared now this all these details are kept here you can go through the forms you know in the forms all the instructions will be there uh, and here the instructions are there please go through them uh, in detail and understand the eligibility criteria and definitely go for this program do not miss out this opportunity guys trust me it will be an interesting programs for the student there will be a lot of things that you are going to learn, a lot of things that you are going to learn, uh, understand, a lot of uh, industry practices you will get to know, right? There will be a huge experience as a student, I am telling you. So, in case if you are not a student, if you know anyone from your college or any faculty that you know uh, that you would like to ensure, you know, your college students should participate into this. So, please do do, you know, ensure you share these links. Uh, which I'm going to provide in the description of this video. Please do share these links to your college faculties, call them or drop them an email. Or if you're a student, if you're watching, please do you know share it um, to your college or maybe any other college that you know, and if your other friends are you know studying in different college. So whichever way possible, try to spread the word, spread these links, and and we would like to see maximum participation from all different colleges. All right. Um, whoever is watching this video so to try to nominate yourself and go through entire form conditions terms you know what are this go through that entirely and then go about submitting the form so that's about it guys so please do nominate yourself and take benefit and be a student developer champion all right so myself rakesh we are going to once again meet in our next content till then take care bye bye